We're back now at 8.09 on this 35th anniversary of Elvis Presley's death. Natalie is at Graceland, where she talked to Presley's ex-wife Priscilla and their only daughter, Lisa Marie. Natalie, good morning again. And good morning to you, Matt. And this is actually the first time that Priscilla and Lisa Marie have sat down for an interview together here at Graceland. And I began by asking him if they ever thought that this place would become such a sacred place for Elvis fans. No, never. I mean, when, when we opened it in 82, we had no idea that we, you know, have a lot of, we'd have maybe some visitors, but not to this extent. I mean, I was told that Elvis um, passed and that, you know, he'll be forgotten the next couple of years and life goes on. Thank God I didn't listen to any of those people. Lisa Marie, what feelings do you get when you come here? I'm always really happy when I'm here. It always reminds me of when I was the happiest I think in my life so and it you know it always just brings me right there when I come back and Priscilla in an interview I believe you said uh, when you were talking about Graceland coming here that you feel like Elvis is going to come down the stairs any minute so do you feel his presence here absolutely. throughout still absolutely I've always said that you feel that he was this is so much a part of him this home he loved this home um, he always came back here no matter what his presence is just all around going into each room He's sitting here you know sitting and talking or playing the piano, um, early morning hours, um, the kitchen, that's where we all congregated, um, lots of laughs. I can sometimes hear laughter. What did you call your father, Lisa Marie? Daddy. His daddy. Mm -hmm. Never Elvis. I did say it a few times, and he wasn't too thrilled when I... <laughs> he would, I would call him that because I kept hearing it being yelled, you know, um, by women, and I would giggle and start saying it back to him. Um, or I'd call him like the fans would call him when I was really little and he, he would giggle, but he preferred that I, I call him daddy, I suppose. I'd love being with him before he'd go on stage and, and then being in the audience while, on, while he was being just as awestruck watching him as you know, anybody in the audience. So, so I was your own at father very watching him, you're, you're awestruck? Of course, because there was really no difference in him off and on stage. There wasn't a persona that was different. He was the word would be awesome, just the, his dynamic, how, how big he was and how um, what he projected was just as much off the stage as it was on, so there wasn't any difference. Good evening. Elvis Presley died today. He was 42. Tell me about that day 35 years ago. Priscilla, do you remember getting the call? I do. I'll never forget that day. I walked outside and I said, my God, something's not right. And um, Lisa was in Memphis at the time, and I first thought about her. I wasn't able to function for a while without him because I just, you know, in my head, I just thought, what do I do without him? Because he was always there for me. Lisa Marie, you were nine at the time. You were at the house, as I understand, here at Graceland. Mm -hmm. Did you know what was going on? I knew something was wrong because I was in my room, which was right next to his bathroom. So I knew that something was very wrong, and I, all the commotion and everything, and I was a wreck. I was a mess, but I also was uh, confused because I was so upset and the, just the pandemonium that happened after was a little bit confusing. For the first time, you're actually going to participate in the candlelight vigil? Yes. Why? Um, it just seems like it's the right time. When you come here and you see now on the 35th anniversary, I mean, there are just masses of people outside for candlelight vigil. Are, are you somewhat struck with awe that people still decades later absolutely. come here to honor Elvis this yes, way? Yes, absolutely. I mean, that's the force of Elvis. And I, I remember Elvis saying that he, um, he didn't really know, you know, if, if he gave up singing, if he did want to retire. He felt that people would forget him. And to see this every year it's like my gosh you were wrong look at this i mean look what you do every year look who you bring mm -hmm. and um it brings a smile to my face because if he only knew Memphis police department estimates some 75,000 people were here last night for that candlelight vigil and later today there will be a special tribute concert for Elvis and Lisa Marie will reveal a video performance of her singing alongside with an image of Elvis. Matt, so very special celebration here as well for his life and his legacy.